Hi there, and welcome back. So I have been playing around with some of the open source models and using it specifically with Autogen just to see how well these models can actually follow some logical reasoning. And admittedly, I didn't have a lot of success with some of the larger models. So for example, I tried with Llama 2, 70 billion, and I found that that model wasn't able to do anything really. It was quite pathetic in the way that it performed with Autogen. And I even tried some of the newer, slicker models like Mistral 7B and still got suboptimal results. However, I have tried something now that I'm quite impressed with, and that's why I decided to put this video up. So essentially, I got two models to debate with each other. I got an open source model and GPT-4 Turbo to play two agents, one a proponent and the other an opponent in a debate. And... I put them against each other with a debate question. So that's what I'm going to run through with you now. I'll show you the notebook. But instead of going through the debate transcript, which would be quite dry, I've brought it to life by scripting it, uh, by taking that transcript and putting it into Symphysia so that you can actually hear the debate run. And I'll play that sh shortly after I demonstrate the notebook. So the two models I used were, the open source model was the Orca 2 13B. And the reason I picked this out is because, you know, it's something recently released by Microsoft. And what they've said is that it's really designed for reasoning, right? And when you think about a debate, there is quite a lot of reasoning, but also when you think about multi-agent workflows, which is what we're doing here with Autogen, there is a reasoning trace as well. And that's probably why some of the other models struggled a little bit. And then obviously the most performant of the proprietary models is the GPT-4 Turbo at the minute. So that takes the opponent side. So the debate question itself is quite interesting. And I'll briefly talk about the debate question. So it's about trying to, it's debating whether or not open source AI is better than um, proprietary AI. Um, so what I've done is I've aligned the, aligned the question with the model. So the Orca to 13B, model takes the position that proprietary AI, sorry, that open source AI is better and the GPT-4 Turbo model takes the position that proprietary AI is better and they debate back and forth for a few rounds. I'll run through the notebook really quickly. Um, I will make this available in the in a GitHub repo once the video is uploaded. So essentially you'll need Autogen and OpenAI. You'll also need to deploy the um, open, you'll, you'll need to deploy OpenAlka um, so you might be able to get this running locally, but if you can't, I have got a tutorial about how to deploy this or how to deploy um, open source models on run pods. So I'll link to that tutorial and that will be at the end of the video and also be in the description. So that's the, the first step, just getting set up. You also need an OpenAI API key as well. So there's a configurations path here and you put your API key in the configurations file. And that's all here for you. Just be aware to change the path so that it matches the configuration file, but that'll be all in the GitHub repo as well. And then it's a standard Autogen setup. So I've got a, quite a few videos on Autogen if you're not familiar with the framework already. So have a watch of those videos and maybe come back to this once you understand how the framework actually works. And that is pretty much it. I set up the system prompts for the debate. So it's taking turns. I've tried as much as possible to orchestrate that debate, but I couldn't get it to get each agent to complete their three turns, although it did do pretty well. And then we run the debate and this is the transcript. So as I said, instead of reading this transcript out on video and boring everyone to death, I have brought this to life using Symphysia. So um, I will proceed to play that in the next part of this video, and I hope you enjoy the debate. Please let me know your thoughts on the Orca 13B model if you've used it already. Let me know your thoughts on open source versus proprietary um, AI and what side you fall on. And yeah, hope you enjoy it. Really quickly before I play the debate, if you find this content informative, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please comment. Please share. Thank you in advance. Hello. I am an open source AI assistant. I am here to debate with you on the topic of open source at IVS proprietary AI. Are you ready to begin? Absolutely, let's commence the debate. Although the open source model does offer benefits such as transparency, community collaboration, and rapid development, I'd argue that proprietary AI can be the better approach for future developments for several reasons. 
Firstly, proprietary AI offers a controlled environment. This means that the development of AI technology happens within the confines of an organization that has the necessary resources and dedicated personnel to ensure quality and safety. Privacy and security concerns are especially paramount in AI development. In a proprietary setting, companies can better protect intellectual property and user data from malicious actors, which is more challenging in open source environments where access is less restricted. Secondly, investment in AI research and development is immense. Proprietary AI research often results in significant innovations due to the funding and competitive nature of businesses striving to offer unique products. These investments may not be promptly recuperated in an open source model, possibly leading to slower progression in cutting edge AI technology because potential investors might be hesitant to fund projects they cannot own or control directly. Finally, the proprietary model ensures that there is accountability and support. When issues arise, such as bugs or ethical concerns, there are dedicated teams responsible for addressing these challenges. In the open source world, while there is a community, accountability is often dispersed, and there's no guarantee of support or timely resolutions. In summary, the proprietary AI approach can provide a secure financially fueled and accountable pathway for advancing future AI developments. Thank you for your turn. I appreciate your arguments. I will now take my turn too. Turn two. While I agree that some of the points you raised are valid, I believe that the open source AI approach has several advantages that outweigh the drawbacks you mentioned. Firstly, open source AI fosters collaboration and innovation. By allowing anyone to access, modify, and share AI code, the open source community can leverage the collective knowledge and creativity of thousands of developers worldwide. This collaborative approach can lead to faster and more diverse solutions to complex problems, as well as the discovery of new applications and use cases for AI technology. Secondly, open source AI promotes transparency and trust. By making the source code publicly available, open source AI projects can increase accountability and transparency, which is crucial for building trust among users and stakeholders. This is especially important in the context of AI, where ethical and social implications are often uncertain and controversial. Open source AI can help address these concerns by allowing anyone to inspect, verify, and challenge the algorithms and data used in AI systems. Finally, open source AI can facilitate knowledge sharing and capacity building. By making AI technology accessible to anyone, Open source AI can help democratize access to AI education and skills development. This can empower individuals and organizations in low resource settings to develop their own AI solutions and contribute to the global AI ecosystem. In conclusion, I believe that open source AI can offer a more inclusive, collaborative, and transparent approach to future AI developments, which can ultimately benefit society as a whole. Turn 2. I understand the points you presented in favor of open source AI. However, I must raise additional concerns regarding the open source approach. Despite the potential for collaboration that open source AI projects carry, it's essential to recognize that effective collaboration requires not only a common goal, but also coordination and consistent effort from contributors. Open source projects can suffer from fragmented development efforts, as disparate groups could be pulling the project in different directions, leading to a lack of cohesive vision and potential redundancies. Regarding transparency and trust, while open source AI allows for inspection of algorithms, this does not guarantee that inspections will happen or that those inspecting have the necessary expertise to identify flaws or biases. Moreover, malicious actors could exploit the transparency of open source AI to find and leverage vulnerabilities, especially in the case of security critical applications. Furthermore, the argument that open source AI democratizes access to AI education and skills development overlooks the steep learning curve and high complexity of AI technology. Without adequate guidance, which is often more readily available through structured proprietary development programs, many would-be AI practitioners might struggle to contribute effectively or even understand AI systems fully. As for capacity building, proprietary AI can also significantly contribute to global knowledge. Companies like DeepMind, OpenRI, prior to adopting a more open model, and IBM often publish their research, partner with academic institutions, and provide educational outreach and resources, illustrating that proprietary AI doesn't necessarily limit knowledge advancement. In conclusion, 
While open source AI has many virtues, their approach is not without significant drawbacks, especially in terms of coordination, security, and effective utility of the technology by a broad audience. Proprietary AI, with its directed and funded approach, is often better positioned to address these concerns and drive innovation within a controlled, secure, and accountable framework. Thank you for your turn. I appreciate your arguments. I will now take my turn three. Turn three. I understand your concerns and acknowledge that open source AI is not without its challenges. However, I believe that the benefits of open source AI outweigh the drawbacks, especially in the long run. Firstly, open source AI can overcome the fragmentation issue by fostering a strong community of practice. By creating online platforms and forums for open source AI developers to communicate, share ideas, and collaborate, the community can develop shared goals, standards, and best practices. This can help ensure that open source AI projects are more cohesive and effective, while also reducing redundancies and increasing efficiency. Secondly, transparency and trust in open source AI can be enhanced by implementing robust quality assurance and validation mechanisms. By establishing open source AI repositories that curate and verify the quality and reliability of code, algorithms, and data, the community can increase confidence in the AI technology and reduce the risk of malicious exploitation. Moreover, by involving diverse stakeholders, including ethicists, regulators, and end users, in the development and evaluation of open source AI projects, the community can ensure that the technology is aligned with social and ethical values. Finally, while it is true that open source AI requires a certain level of expertise and guidance to be accessible and useful, this is not an insurmountable challenge. By providing educational resources, mentorship programs, and support networks, the open source AI community can empower individuals and organizations to develop their AI skills and contribute to the development of AI technology. Furthermore, open source AI can also benefit from the expertise and resources of proprietary AI companies, as they can choose to release some of their technology as open source or collaborate with open source projects. In conclusion, I believe that open source AI can offer a more sustainable, inclusive, and innovative approach to future AI developments, as it can harness the collective wisdom and creativity of a diverse and global community of AI practitioners and stakeholders. After reviewing both positions, it is clear that the discussion around open source AI versus proprietary AI is one with valid arguments on both sides. The proponent highlights the collaborative nature transparency, innovation, and democratic access to technology that open source AI fosters. The opponent, on the other hand, emphasizes the security, investment, accountability, and structured support systems inherent in proprietary AI models. The debate delves into the nuances of collaboration, effectiveness, and safety for each approach, revealing the complexity of AI development. While the opponent raises critical points about potential fragmentation, exploitation of open systems, and the steep learning curve. The proponent counters with the idea of leveraging a global community for a cohesive open source AI implementation, establishing robust quality assurance mechanisms, and the potential for education and mentorship within open source platforms. Both debaters defend their positions with compelling arguments. However, one side must be chosen as the winner. The proponent's vision points toward a more distributed, open and collaborative future for AI development that leverages worldwide talent and aims for collective advancement. This model promises to accelerate innovation, democratize access to AI, and ensure ethical and transparent practices through community governance. The points made about potential risks are met with proposals for community-based solutions that can evolve with the technology. Therefore, by considering the arguments and the potential for a more open, innovative, and collaborative future, leveraging global contributions, the winner of the debate is the proponent supporting open-source AI. Terminate.